Good Monday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Some very nice breaks in the weather for at least today, thanks to the cold front that rolled through this weekend. We've got some rainfall out of it and some very nice temperatures on Sunday. As we get into the next couple of days, the heat and humidity and all that fun stuff is going to be back once again. But at least we got a little bit of a break anyway. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little while. Your day planner forecast for right now going to be showing again temperatures back to around 80 degrees by lunchtime and then also looking at temperatures back in the mid to upper 80s throughout the course of the rest of the day today. So very pleasant all the way around. Stay tuned, though, because as we get into the course of the rest of this podcast, we'll talk more about what's going on out in the tropics. It doesn't really look like much right now, especially close up in and around the mid-south. But we do have, again, a couple of things going on. Actually, a lot of stuff happening already. Fiona, tropical depression, 35 mile per hour winds just north of the Lesser Antilles. And then a couple of new storm systems waiting in the wings, one just off the coast of Africa and another one which could become Gaston somewhere in the next about maybe 24 to 48 hours. We'll be watching that to see what goes on there, but we'll have more on that coming up in just a little bit. Forecast on the red bar at the bottom of your screen showing again temperatures in the 80s today. That's mid to upper 80s. That's not bad for August. And then later on tonight back in the lower 70s for the metro area. A few lower 60s this morning and tomorrow morning, so that's a good possibility. We could see again across the mid-south as we go into very early tomorrow. Much of the mid-south this morning is seeing again mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies, although we are picking up a few scattered very light showers. We have no advice to tell you about at this time. No watches, no warnings, anything like that, so definitely good news there. We are seeing a few scattered showers at this time on radar down to around the Clarksdale area, south and west of Tunica, down into around portions of the area into around southeastern Arkansas. It does not look like much at this point in time, and in fact, all that we're looking at so far is just, again, some very light scattered showers with the occasional rumble of thunder, and that's going to continue to drift on through the area throughout the course of the rest of the morning. So if you're heading across Interstate 55 into around portions of northwestern Mississippi, that's where you're going to be seeing, again, the potential for the heaviest amount of rainfall. It's moving at about maybe 20 to 30 miles per hour from the east to the east-northeast, so this is not going to be causing, again, any major concerns out there, but I would not be surprised to see a rumble of thunder, especially in and across portions of northern Mississippi. We're going to be talking about mainly in the areas along and south of the line from around the Tupelo area south of Oxford, Batesville, and Clarksdale. That's where the best possibilities of rainfall will be as we go into the course of the rest of the day. Stay tuned for more on that. For those of you who are looking forward to it, a month and change, 31 days, about 3 hours and 33 minutes when we record this early on Monday morning. So we're getting there slowly. It's just going to take a little while longer before we're all the way out of autumn, but two-thirds of the way to be there either. Throughout the rest of the day today, again, if you're going to be heading out to grab some Java, we're exclusive and very tongue-in-cheek coffee temperature recommendation index for today. Very warm, so you might want to get some ice, frothy coolness out there, but you may see again the need to get some hot coffee this morning, especially with those temperatures back in the lower 60s. Very pleasant numbers across much of the Mid-South area. So again, just please remember that the coffee temperature is your choice. Don't burn yourself or get a brain freeze. That would be very uncomfortable out there. No earthquakes to report in the News Channel 3 viewing area. Counties within the last 24 hours from the United States Geological Survey and from the Center for Earthquake Research and Information. UV index will be a little high today. The clouds, when they're not around, will allow some sunshine to make their way on, to make its way on through. And that could be, again, giving us some very warm and very sunny conditions out there. Enough for a sunburn if you're sensitive to that. For today, a 7 out of the 10 scale for UV radiation and also into tomorrow looking for about the same thing as we go into Tuesday. Some of that sunshine you can see on some of the weather underground cameras out there. Tim B's webcam from around Collierville, mostly cloudy out there, but also seeing again a few peaks at the sunshine. Construction continuing in Senatobia, Mississippi on Ranger 2015's webcam. People up and about getting things ready to go there, but mainly cloudy skies out there. Some sunshine this morning early around the area around X Airbus driver's webcam in Germantown, Tennessee around the backyard pond. We're not seeing any problems with wildfire danger. We we are in fact very low for the chances of wildfire thanks to the rain that we picked up across the area. Drought concerns will continue 
across parts of the area, especially northern Mississippi. But as of right now, wildfire danger is very low. Hopefully that continues that direction. We have no burn bans to report in any part of the Mid-South. Tennessee does not issue burn bans except on a county-by-county -county basis, so we'll keep our eyes on that. Yesterday's high temperature below normal, very nice for the Mid-South for the late part of August. As always, it could be worse. High temperature for the entire country, 115 degrees for Death Valley, California. Sun today rising at 625, setting at 739, and a few seconds earlier into tomorrow. So we'll wind up with just over 13 hours and 11 minutes of sunshine tomorrow. 13 hours, 13 minutes of sunlight for today. Temperature yesterday, 88, as we said, looking at 72, the low, very close to normal. Record high today, 100 degrees, set back in 2007. And a record low of 56 that hasn't been broken since 1956. Good way to keep track of that. Over an inch and a third of rainfall reported yesterday. So that brings us up to a very nice surplus for the month and for the year. Well over a foot of rainfall above normal. So looking very good on that. And we were behind on rainfall until very recently, so we have done a very good job of catching up on rain for the month. Rest of the day today, again, looking at some very mild temperatures across much of the area. But, again, if you are in areas mainly south and along the line from around Corinth through about Oxford, maybe south of around Holly Springs, that is going to be the location that we see the best possibility of anything involving rainfall. Chances of scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, nothing that's going to cause much of a problem through lunch time today. Now getting into later on this afternoon, picking up the kids from school, high temperatures back into the mid to upper 80s. Very pleasant, again below normal for this time of the year, looking very nice out there. And into the rest of the forecast, mild into the evening hours post sunset and through midnight to about tomorrow morning, we could easily see some lower 60s in parts of the Mid-South once again. The metro area probably settling into the lower 70s and mid to upper 60s out there. Chances of rainfall today, we're just not going to be seeing that much of it out there, seeing around a 10% chance of anything involving rain, and that is again going to be into around the area of northwest Mississippi and southeastern Arkansas, so we'll be continuing to monitor that potential. Chances of rainfall into tomorrow are going to be a little bit greater, looking at about maybe a 30% chance coming up there. And once again, it's not going to be all that great, but it is going to be possible. Heading into Wednesday, a backdoor front which is going to be making its way in from the east heading to the west off the Appalachians and another cold front from the north is going to be giving us a little bit clearer skies so less of a chance of rain and thunder but still possible and chances of more sunshine that's going to bump the temperatures up to near normal in the lower 90s that is where we're going to stay over the next few days if you remember what it was like a few days ago with very humid conditions and very warm numbers at night heading into around the next several days, lower 90s for highs, that'll be the norm. And that's nothing really major, it's pretty typical for this time of the year. Lower 90s for highs, very normal for late August in the Mid-South, and lower to mid-70s as well. Through next weekend, isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms remain across the area. So if you have any plans for outdoors, this is where the problem is going to lie with that chance of showers and thunderstorms across the Mid-South, giving us those numbers again with about a 20 to 40 percent chance of a shower or thunderstorm in parts of the area. So remember when thunder roars go indoors let's be safe as we go throughout the rest of the summer season here in the Mid-South area and we'll keep you updated on that so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online and we'll keep you updated on this pretty typical end to around the late part of August. I want to keep you updated on this it's still several hundred if not a few thousand miles away into the at Fiona a tropical depression into and around uh, portions of the middle to western portions of the Atlantic and then in a little bit farther south of that Invest 99L Investigation Area 99L is another storm system which is strengthening rapidly and could wind up becoming tropical storm Gaston within the course of the next few days. Now the reason we mention this is because the computer models, the spaghetti models as they're so called, several of them are starting to bring this system very close to the continental United States. This particular system as it wanders through the western Atlantic heading toward Florida could be a bit of a situation there. It could split off and go into the Gulf of Mexico. It could head upwards and head toward and around the east coast where according to some of the models it's going to be kind of taking a loop-the-loop -loop current over the next few days and that is again where the uncertainty comes in. So if you are traveling to the east coast, the Florida Gulf Coast or the Florida East Coast area 
you're going to want to stay tuned to News Channel 3 to see what happens with this particular storm system. Now beyond that, back to the west, the storm system off the coast of Africa looks like it's heading up to around Bermuda, maybe up toward the Canadian Maritime, so that does not look to be an issue, but stay tuned for more with News Channel 3. We'll keep you updated on that. Stay tuned for my forecast coming up with Bob and Josh, bright and early on Monday through Friday, and also throughout the rest of the week. We'll have your forecast from the News Channel 3 Weather Center all ready to go Monday through Friday, and don't forget to sign up for, again, social media. If you've got any pictures out there, weather-wise, we'd love to pass those along to you, so send them along to me at aonic underscore WREG3. Also available on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, many other social media web pages, so please keep it advised there, and we'll keep you updated as well. Complete check of your forecast, again, coming up today on News Channel 3 Live at 9 at noon, also with News Channel 3's Tim Simpson and Jim Jaggers. Questions, concerns, comments, email address at the top, austin.onic at WREG.com. That'll be a wrap for today's News Channel 3 video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining me, and stay tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online for the latest forecast updates.